Welcome back guys to another Clash Royale video and today we're going to be doing the Arena 1 deck challenge in Legendary Arena where I go to TV Royale in Arena 1 and copy a deck and then use that in some live battles in Legendary Arena and this challenge video was requested by the viewer Chris Johnson. If you guys have an idea for a challenge you want me to do in a video please feel free to let me know in the comment section below but this should be pretty interesting because of course the season just reset last night so the competition is going to be really tough. Hopefully I don't drop out of Legendary Arena in the process, but as you can see we have a magical chest to open So let's just let's open this up very quickly here and get this out of the way Hopefully I get a legendary card out of this. That would be super cool. So we have some gold here five skeletons uh, Mortar not gonna use that ever archers We have seven wizards. So what do we have some spear goblins and some furnace and for the epic? What do we have? Four poison spells. That's not, that's not too bad. So let's go ahead and copy a, a deck here from um, Arena 1. Let's go back to Arena 1. I'm just going to swipe down here a couple times and then pick whatever deck I think looks the best because of course there is no way of doing this blindly. So let's see what we have here for options. This one looks pretty cool with the um, this one right here with the Witch and stuff. Can I copy it or does he have a different deck on? He has a different deck. So let's just go out. We have Knight, Bomber, Spear Gob Hut. So let's go through here, throw the Knight in there. The Bomber. And the Spear Goblin Hut. What else do we have? The Witch, Fireball, and the Giant. So Giant going in. I already have the Fireball in there, which is right here. And then we have the Valkyrie and the Musketeer. So let's throw in the Valkyrie here. And the Musketeer is right here. There we go. Now, two things I'm really going to miss. I pretty much use in every single deck I ever use. The Zap Spell and the Cannon. So this should be pretty interesting, only having one spell in the deck. But let's go ahead here. We are facing a level 9, so that's not too bad. Spear Goblin Hut in the first opening hand here. And I'm going to put this in the middle there, and that'll be my distraction for Hog Riders and stuff. Um, so right there, placing it down. Give him the thumbs up. He's using a Lava Hound. Ooh. I don't have anything to really counter this Lava Hound, so this is unfortunate. So we're going to drop a well played here. And let's see what he does. We'll have the fireball ready for whatever. Maybe a minion horde coming. No, he's not going to do anything. He's going to fireball this. So let's drop down a giant here to hopefully save this musketeer. No, she dies. All right, let's go ahead and use a bomber behind this behind this giant. No, infernal tower going down. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too late for the witch. Um, so now that I know he has an infernal tower, I'll play a little bit differently. And... Uh, He's going to go ahead and pump up. So let's go ahead, drop down the Witch in the back left here. And I want to try and get the Spear Goblin Hut as fast as possible down. But I'm going to support this Witch with a Valkyrie up front. I don't want to send her in by herself and just waste 5 Elixir on that. So let's see, here drops an Ice Wizard going down. Let's use this with a Musketeer in the back. And that Lava Hound was actually pretty good because it's going to leave my uh, both of those pretty exposed right there. Let's go ahead and use the Knight just to protect that Witch a little bit further. Unfortunately, the Ice Wizard doing work. If you guys watched my video yesterday, I talked about how I think the Ice Wizard is one of the best cards in the game right now. And uh, we're going to lose that tower. Because unfortunately, the Goblin snuck in there and doing crazy damage there. So let's go ahead and use this Goblin Hut right here. And let's see here. We're going to start setting up a push on the right-hand side with this Witch. And then drop down the Giant in front of her. And hopefully these skeletons will help protect her from uh, the Inferno Tower. Down goes the Balloon. So we're going to have to try and cycle to our uh, Musketeer here pretty soon. Drop a Giant to soak up all of this. Use the Musketeer right here to target that Balloon. And let's go ahead and drop a Knight up here. Bomber right here. Hopefully see that Musketeer. Unfortunately, the Bomber is a bit too late. And that uh, Balloon is going to make it to the Tower. The skeletons aren't in front of that giant, surprisingly, which really sucks. So we are going to lose this battle. Drop down a Valkyrie here. Give him the thumbs up. And so things aren't looking good, guys. Um, let's see here. Drop down another Spear Goblin Hut right here. Musketeer right here. And let's get this Bomber ready for the Goblins that might be coming. Bomber right here. There we go. See? And then let's use the knight to take out this ice wizard. Unfortunately, that balloon is going to make it right into the tower there. 
Um, actually, he doesn't even get a hit off, so that's not too bad. Um, but four seconds left. It's about too late to do anything here. Give him a good game. He's having a good time. Let's go ahead and do... Let's go ahead and copy a different deck here. So let's go ahead, swipe down. And what do we have? Um, let's see here. This one here looks not too bad right here. With the mini peck and the giant. So let's go ahead and copy that. Can I copy it straight from here? I can't. So knight, arrows, fireball. Let's see here. Arrows right here. So knight, arrows, fireball. Get rid of this bomber. Whoops. Where the arrows go? Right here. Throw that in there. And he has the bomber, the giant, the mini P.E.K.K.A. and the skeleton army. So let's put the bomber back in there. The mini P.E.K.K.A. The skeleton army. And in here. And I think he has the Valkyrie. Let's double check. Valkyrie, bomber, skeleton army, mini P.E.K.K.A. So that looks okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Actually, never mind. That's 2,000 gold. I thought it was 400. Uh, we're going to upgrade the mini P.E.K.K.A. though because I do use the mini P.E.K.K.A. a fair bit. And the Valkyrie I use a lot, so let's upgrade her as well. There we go. Um, upgrade the Giant, why not? Only 2,000 gold. There we go. How much is this Knight? Not going to do that. Okay, let's do some battles here. So here we go. What kind of opponent do we have? Level 10. He's all the way down at 2896. So if we lose this, we're going to lose a good chunk of trophies. So let's see here. Valkyrie, what do we want to do? Maybe a slow push with the Valkyrie somewhere? Let's do it this side. He drops on the Ice Wizard way in the back there. I really wish I had the Ice Wizard. Let's use the Mini P.E.K.K.A. right here. Level 11 World Giant. So that's pretty strong. And let's set up, let's see what we can do here. I'm not going to support this push any further. The Knight, uh, thankfully, is tanking for that Valkyrie. But look at this Ice Wizard, guys. This is what I mean about the Ice Wizard being so strong. Only costing 3 Elixir and having a good chunk of health on him. He just survived that entire push and provides so much support. Let's go ahead and do a slow push with the Giant here. That really is my only move at this point right here. Now the Bomb Tower, unfortunately, is going to be the perfect counter to my Skeleton Army. Uh, so I can't really use that. Of course, the Skeleton Army is fairly strong in Arena... Uh, in Arena 1. Far about all this, put on the Bomber here. And the mini P.E.K.K.A. Come on, Bomber, clear out those Barbarians. That Giant just gets annihilated. Level 6. Not too high of a level. So things aren't looking good, guys. I'm expecting a uh, Royal G right here. Royal G incoming? Maybe? No? Let's drop the Valkyrie here. Clear out both of these troops. And let's just build up some Elixir here for a quick second. And then set up another push on the right-hand side. Let that Bomb Tower tick away slowly in health. Now he has the Bomber, the Wizard, and the Bomb Tower, so this Skeleton Army card right here is pretty much useless uh, for this entire battle. So let's go here with this Giant, and of course I don't have any towers or, or structures in this deck, so I have nothing to distract the Royal Giant when it comes in. So down goes the Wizard there, he drops it um, on the right hand side this time, because last time of course I fireballed that, as well as the Bomb Tower. Drop this here. Let's fireball all of this. Oops, I missed the I missed the wizard. That's what happens when you get a little bit too much of a rush. And the arrows aren't ready. That uh, minion horde really catches me off guard here. Was not expecting that. And let's use the arrows here. Take care of all that. And of course, I missed a bunch of the minions. Uh, so sometimes, make a mistake like that can cost you the battle. So let's see here. Let's use this giant right here. And I'm expecting a Royal Giant in a couple of seconds, because all he really needs to do is get a couple of hits on my tower. And of course the Royal Giant, there it is. Skeleton Army here, maybe. And let's use the Valkyrie here. Mini P.E.K.K.A. takes it out, but unfortunately he does hit my tower in the process. Before I blow these guys. And let's arrows right here. And unfortunately it's a bit too late, and we won't get the tower down. Losing a nether battle. So, okay, let's do one more battle with this deck, guys. Okay, we are in Arena 7, so we did drop out a Legendary Arena. Uh, let's go ahead here and see what we get. I'm going to look for an actual better deck this time and see if I can actually win a battle. Are we, in, are we in Arena 1 still? No, we're in Arena 7. So let's go back down here. There we go. So what do we got? I'm going to try and pick a better deck out of this one. 
This one looks okay with the Witch and the Giant with the arrows and the fireballs. So let's try that. So what do we need? Goblins, Musketeer, and the Witch. So I think we have most of that in our deck. Use the Goblins instead of the Valkyrie, the Witch instead of the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and the Musketeer instead of the Skeleton Army. I think that's what he has. I'm looking at this one right here. Double check one more time and it looks like it. So let's go ahead and do a battle here. Hopefully we don't lose this one. I would like to win at least one of these battles or at least get a crown for my crown chest. That'd be pretty cool. Give him the good luck. Of course the witch is getting buffed tomorrow. In fact, if you guys want to write down in the comment section below which card that is being changed in this balance update would you like to see me do a video on first um, starting tomorrow? Please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and get that done. Expecting a hog rider here. Bomber here. Of course, I don't have the... I don't have a cannon or any or any tower in this deck, which is really unfortunate. And look at this. The bomber is going to be really smart and just decided to walk in front of that knight. Uh, so that's not too bad. Just kidding, it is really bad. Arrows all this. Boom, arrows going down. He has a princess, of course I just used my arrows, which is unfortunate. So getting a little bit of damage to that tower, not too much. Give him the crying face. We're gonna go ahead and use these goblins here to take care of this princess. And then use this musketeer here to take care of this uh, hog rider. I don't really have anything. Of course in arena one, you're not facing hog riders most of the time. Because you don't get the hog rider till later arena. Uh, so you don't really need an answer for it. Um, but of course, up here in Arena 7 and 8, you do. So let's see what he does here. He does have the Minion Horde. So I'm going to try and save. I have to decide if I want to use the Fireball for the Minion Horde. And then use the Arrows for the Princess. Let's go ahead here. We're not going to Arrows that. Drop the Giant right here. Come on, Witch. Take out those gobs pretty quickly. She still takes a decent amount of time. I think with the Witch, one thing I would love to see about her is uh, have her AoE splash damage, like the radius increase, and she actually doesn't even kill that princess. So that's going to be unfortunate. Arrows this. Unfortunately, she does get the goblins first. A second princess going down. So this is not looking good, guys. Let's see what we got going on here. So 150 health at our tower. His tower is down to 1200 health. And a, a hog rider incoming right here, I can predict it. Maybe not. Let's use the giant here. And get these uh, fireball ready for the incoming minion horde. Right there. And unfortunately, there's a, a bit of a delay there. The musketeer is still alive with the zap spell finishing her off. Get the arrows ready here for whatever comes up. But unfortunately, it goes on a half second too late. Let's use the witch here. I need to get this done up front. Knight to tank the princess. Come on, knight go down. Unfortunately, she is locked on to... Oh no, he's, she's locked onto the knight, so that's not too bad. Let's use the goblins here. Come on, witch, kill those minions. Of course, with the damage buff to the witch, she will take out those minions a lot faster in the update. I can't hit both of those. Let's use the giant here. I'm expecting a fireball from him or something because he hasn't he hasn't tried to take out my tower on the right-hand side. So I'm expecting some sort of spell from him here. There we go, lightning spell. Told you guys. Good game, buddy. I had his tower down to 500 health, so that wasn't too bad. Um, but anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.